If you have syphilis, then this video is for you. If you don't have syphilis, then you should also watch this video so you never want to get it. This is a skull on display here at the Bone Museum that has syphilis. But Masha, it looks perfectly normal. Well, let's take a look on the other side. What we're seeing back here is called carysica, and it is a telltale sign of prolonged syphilitic infection. In fact, it is a pattern so unique that it only really appears in syphilitic patients. This is caused by the body's immune response and the nature of the syphilis bacteria. As it travels through the bloodstream, it settles and persists because the skull has a very rich but slow-moving blood supply. Your body, in turn, tries to eliminate the bacteria by causing localized tissue death by destroying portions of bone that still hold on to the syphilitic bacteria. This creates a cycle of destruction and repair. As the body destroys the portion of the bone that holds onto the infection, it will in turn repair it using healthier bone. An interesting call out about this skull specifically is we actually had it examined by specialists and they noticed that it displays something called Huntington's teeth, which only primarily appear in congenital syphilis cases. If you would like to learn more about this, we actually have a long form video on our YouTube channel about syphilis. This doesn't actually happen until the third stage of syphilis, which doesn't appear until up to 20 years after initial infection. Now, we actually have an exhibit on syphilis here at the Bone Museum with this skull and various other bones, so if you found this video interesting, make sure to come check it out in Brooklyn, New York.